Hello everyone, welcome to our tutorial on creating an account master in Focus XERP. In this video, we'll walk you through the process step by step, starting from accessing the account master module to creating a new account and managing account groups. Let's get started. First, let's navigate to the account master module. You can find it by clicking on the home menu on the left menu panel. Then, select Master followed by Account. This action will open up the Account Master window, allowing you to manage all your accounts. Here you can see the main interface of the Account Master module. On the left side, you'll find a list of all the account groups. And at the top, you have various buttons for performing actions such as creating a new account, new group, editing, deleting, cloning accounts, and more. Additionally, there's a menu button that opens up additional options like grouping multiple accounts and importing and exporting data. Let's start by creating a new group. Click on the, the New Group button at the top. A creation form will appear where you can enter the details of the new group. The mandatory fields for creating a group are name, code, and account type. Click on Save button to save the record. The system won't allow duplicate names and codes. If you wish to allow duplicate names it can be done, but the code must be unique. Now that we've created our main group, let's proceed to add some subgroups. From the left group panel, select the Assets group. Then, click on the Add group button once more. This time, we'll create a subgroup under Assets by specifying the name, code, and selecting the account type. For instance, let's create a current asset subgroup under assets. Notice how the system automatically generates a code, prefaced by the parent code and an incremental number. Alternatively, you can input your own code, ensuring it remains unique. Click on Save to save the record. Now that we've learned how to create groups and subgroups, let's proceed to create a subgroup under Current Assets. To do this, first, we click on the Current Assets group from the left group panel. Then, we can click on the Add Group button from the top. Alternatively, we can also search for the Current Assets group using the search option. Once located, double-click on the Current Assets group, and then click on the Add Group button. Here, we are creating a group called Trade Receivable under Current Assets. Notice that in the account type, we select Customer. This is because we want to maintain the account ledger for billwise adjustments, such as invoice versus receipts. Let's create a customer ledger inside the Trade Receivable group. We'll follow the same steps as before. First, we select the Trade Receivable group. This time, instead of clicking on Add Group, we'll click on the New Account button at the top. Fill in the details for the account, such as account name and type. You can also provide additional information such as address, contact details, VAT settings, and other relevant details if necessary. It's important to note that these fields are not mandatory at the time of creation and can be edited later. Once you've entered the information, Simply click Save to create the customer ledger. And there you have it. We've successfully created a new group, added subgroups, and created a customer ledger account under the Customer subgroup. Thanks for watching.